Our pathway is anchored on truth. We we'll keep saying it. We don't need lies. We don't need propaganda. We don't need noise making because our pathway is anchored on truth. That's why we say that no elected person has the power to make a new constitution on behalf of these distinct indigenous ethnic nations. Because these distinct, if you want, let them be 1,000, we don't care. These distinct indigenous ethnic nations are the constituent members and their sovereignty is inalienable. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. Because according to the 2007 United Nations Declaration Indigenous People, uh, 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 Declaration for the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, he said they are entitled to self-determination. It is theirs to exercise. The only caveat is that they need to organize themselves so that they can exercise that right. The constitution making all over the world, anywhere in the world, is by constituent members of a union, not elected lawmakers. Deputy State of uh, Deputy Speaker of Nigeria's National Assembly, take notes, because some of you, you behave as if you went to school, but when you do what you do, it's as if you don't even have brain, let alone going to school. I'll read it again. Constitution making is by the constituent members of a union. It's not by the person that was employed, the elected lawmaker. The elected lawmaker, your own is just to make law. That's after they have made the constitution and put all the structure on the ground. You will now begin to make laws. Constitution making is not within your mandate. You don't have that mandate because the land does not belong to you. One person know the answer are we. You are not representing the people in that sense because constitution making is a foundational law. Is a, is a contract. Is the beginning of anything that you want to do. Done first. By these ethnic nationalities. They are the owners of the land. These constituent union members retain the mandate to make constitution and decide on their constitutional order or arrangement. If you jump and say he doesn't want to form a nation with Igbo man, is his right, is within his rights and he can decide it through referendum. If a Yoruba man say, I don't want to be near Yoruba man, is this his right? If Hausa man say, I don't want to be in a union with Yoruba man, it is their right as indigenous people. But you must be living on your ancestral land. Otherwise, somebody will just stroll out from one place and say, I'm an indigenous person, like uh, Biafra people. They will jump out and say, hey, put indigenous inside Biafra and say, it's Bia indigenous Biafra. <laughs> the Afro of indigenous. No. That's the height of ignorance. You must be a distinct ethnic nation living on your ancestral land. We are Indigo living on Anibo. Mm. Yoruba people living on Yoruba land. When you have finished through referendum, decide how you want to live. That's when name, you might not decide to say, okay, what name do we want to answer? Then they will do another plebiscite too. They will do another vote. Say, this is what we want to answer. We want to be known as this, as that. So we have never done it that Ndibu now gave our right of being Ndibu. Now became Biafra. It has not happened. So you are still just behaving like Nigeria. And I don't know how this is difficult for the so-called educated people that call themselves Igbo elite to understand this simple thing that even market women understand. I think it's just spirituality that worries their brain because religion has damaged their brain, so they can't reason very well. One was telling me that uh, Jehovah will do it. I said, yeah. Jehovah will do what he has told you to come and do. Mm -hmm. So, 
sovereignty. Because we are telling you that everything we are doing is anchored on truth. Sovereignty belongs to the indigenous ethnic nations on their ancestral lands. You can't claim sovereignty if you're on somebody else's land. Igbo man cannot go to the land of Ijo man and say, I want to claim sovereignty. Ijo people will wire you. For you to claim your sovereignty, it must be on your ancestral land. And it's common sense. They alone have the mandate to make constitution. There is currently no union. And we keep saying it. Ninas keep saying it. There is no union called Nigeria. What we have is the colonial masters impose entity on our ancestral land. If we want to form union, we will be aware and will be part of the process. We, the indigenous, indigenous, Ndiobodo, we will be part of the process. If we have never been engaged, then it has not started. So if you want all your criminal politicians, your religious uh, 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 criminals, continue to fool around. If you're holding something that belongs to a child, when your hand is tired, you go down. Your hand will go down. And if you're fighting with somebody and wrestling the person down, you're holding yourself as well. Mm -hmm. This forgery called 1999 Constitution cannot and will not and will never be the basis of our union. Mm. Say that again. This forgery called the 1999 Constitution cannot, will never, ever be the basis of our union. We did not make it. We did not agree on it. We did not discuss it. So we didn't, it's not, it's not going to work. The criminals are running around with it. You, you soon get tired. You soon get tired because the cake in your hand will soon finish. We're talking about truth, that our pathway is anchored on truth. As a result, false proposals from the enemy cannot become our reality or a solution. This goes for those that want to say, oh, I want to bring parliamentary system. Your parliamentary system is unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. Some says, oh, 1960, we we'll want to bring 1960 and 1963 uh, constitution is unacceptable. And sometimes it's lawyers. Hmm. So-called lawyers. I say, these ones, what type of law school did they go to? Okay. Are you daft? They have been paid. They have been paid. Yeah, they have been Misinform paid. Misinform the people. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So both of these constitutions represent incomplete decolonization. Why? Because they will not give back the ethnic nations their sovereignty, their ancestral lands, and assets that were stolen. So any conversation that is not starting from how do we undo what the white man did years back is a waste of our time. Total waste of our time. From 1884-85, Africa was balkanized, including our land. And then they came down and imposed structures in our land. And we are saying that cannot happen anymore. We are going down to the foundation. So decolonize, to remove all the colonial structures on our ancestral lands so that we can live the way God proposed that we should live. Any restructuring or proposal for restructuring not based on these facts is dead on arrival. Transitioning is the only safety road to change. So all this we broke down for you. Credit goes back to Ninas. Because this information did not come from us. It's from all that Ninas saying through the week. We break it down. Come and make you understand it. We bring it to your level so that it can become everyday conversation. Something that you can stay at home 
and discuss with your family members, your children. That's what we want. Our expectation is it took years to get our people very ignorant. Hmm. So we are here sitting down to break it down, break the information down so that our people can get informed. Because you cannot tie down a people that are very informed. Nope. You must be ignorant for you to be enslaved and the slavery continue. So for your liberty, you must get this information out. Break it down in your family, everywhere. And so-called churches, any church where they are not discussing these things, it is not church. It is the colonial master's institution sent to distract you from what will free you and your family and say no to them. Thank you very much. I'll allow my sister to continue. Thank you, sister. I'm still sitting here thinking how I can mistakenly steal 44 billion. <laughs> <laughs> like, how, which computer would I be present to mistakenly make 44 billion naira to this? In five days, though, in five days, the first day you steal, oh. second day, so an all mistake. My dear, because I want to make that kind of mistake. Where is the system? Let me go and make my own mistake. <laughs> I only make it for two days. I won't make it for five days. <laughs> Just two days. That's all I need. Two days of mistake. All right.